Hey guys, this is Pensray89. Welcome to new video. What's up guys? Good to see you again. And I have a painting tutorial for my guys. My first ever painting tutorial. on will teach you guys how to paint gear and um, uniforms. Mainly field gear for this tutorial right now. Now, a good example, start the show you, as you can see, um, I painted his, if you can get a focus on this camera, I painted his rifle uh, gear. This is Great War, not World War II, so he would, World War I, the Great War, he would carry a gear 98, because the K98K was in the Second World War, not the first. So he'd be carrying a gear 98, and I painted and lathered up, make it look like a leather. Um, give a nice shiny leather effect um, on his gear right right there as you can see pretty nicely a uh, you know a leather effect for his gear 98 uh, ammo pouches so I'll teach you how to paint leather and how to paint like canvas kind of like this the like, canvas is not shiny because it's not leather it's a flat shady color canvas is supposed to look like like not to bring out the creases a bit too but canvas is fabric it's not leather you can see his canteen here there's the golden uh, brass the brass screw top of his canteen you can see the nice leather that covers the can the canteen pouch I think you can see it there I mean, you guys know in the comments below if you see it or not can just about see it I think that's that now we're gonna be painting this great World War one British soldier and we're gonna be painting the uh, leather I guess I'll try and make it leather or canvas um, like you know like fabric um, the uh, uh, Lewis Emma pouch so yeah um, hmm I guess we'll paint canvas and the strap to leather. So I'll teach you how to do both. So we're gonna get a certain color you got. You, we're gonna get, let's see, a canvas tone. I guess we'll start with the canvas. So something like this. That's probably there. That should be good. Shake the bottle. Remember, with these I can Interactive and Vallejo paints, the little, these little bottles, you shake them. And I recommend these for figures rather than to me. They're great, amazing for figures. I can Interactive, especially Vallejo, are really good for figures. I also use Vallejo um, for tanks, and they're good for that too, for model armor and vehicles. Vallejo is really good for that too, because they're shady, not just flat. Vallejo kind of gives a small shade to it. So, I think they're good for that too. I always use Vallejo. I never used uh, Timia. Okay, got my canvas, got my brush. I'm just gonna pretty much almost cover the whole thing. Let's see, so far. Got painting it canvas. Gotta be careful, I don't do any mess ups. And, and if you do mess ups, you could always paint over it too, as well. Because it, when it's dry, you have to let it dry first, then paint over the mess ups. Because it's acrylic, so you could always paint over your mess up without given a bad chemical reaction. I don't have much experience with alcohol based paints. I don't know if you let it dry, paint over it, it'll give off a bad reaction, mess it up, but I know acrylic paints that I always use never mess up when the paint dries and you paint over and mess up to fix it. So see we got a nice base, nice beautiful base of the canvas. Now, I'm probably gonna go over it and paint the leather strap or just highlight it, but kind of let, let it have to dry first. 
painted that up nicely. I'm going to double check to see if I missed anything. Well, I did miss the back. I could always paint that. The front looks pretty good in my eyes. So, try and get the back. Paint that. And you don't need much paint for this tiny gear. You only need a little. Remember, try and save the paint as much as possible. Last you quite a while. A long time. I'm just painting this canvas, covering the whole thing up. You know, we could paint over the canvas and leather straps. And I, and I think the next tutorial I'll show you how to scratch build uh, straps and rifle straps. I'll show you the next tutorial how to scratch build straps and paint them and all that. I think is what I'll do next video, YouTube. But yeah, that looks <laughs> amazing. This is so much fun. Yeah, I think that's good. That's beautiful. Okay. Lid the back. Looks nice. I think it's almost time for the leather. I'm going to go and do a brown leather on it. But instead of reddish leather, I use reddish leather for the German ammo pouches. I'm going to use a uh, Vallejo for the British brown leather. But you can also reference this guide on the kit I bought. You guys might recognize it. Some of the comments below said he has the same kit. The Master Box Hand-to-Hand -hand Fight. German and British Infantry World War One Era. German and British Infantry World War One Era. So you can always see what kind of colors they use for that. But it looks like brown leather. From the looks of it. But you know, pick your color. So I'm gonna pick a color instead of the reddish brown. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try the olive drab. Some of these paints are from my US Army uh paint set, but you know you for the gear that's nah, a long story, but I'm not talk about all of it. But yeah, just use any type of paint you want. Make sure, try and get as historically accurate as possible. But I would imagine the Germans, I know I've seen photographs of Germans have more reddish leather. And then the British might have a bit darker. I think. Nice. Pretty stunning, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Well, we can't see it as well. I'll try and get a slideshow of pictures after this. So you can you guys can see it better. But that looks pretty good. Better at all. Pretty nice. I'm going to stone and paint that middle. <sighs> Silver color. Because that looks like that's the middle. Uh, tell you here a Paint the silver. Instead. That's not that bad. It's pretty nice. Looks good. A little metal joint. Pretty good. Go back over the canvas and just do some little tiny teeny weeny uh, touch ups. I really have to focus on this. Draw off my brush a bit better. Nice. Love it. So 
so fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the canvas highlights. Here's the uh, metal brass uh, buckle. As you can see. See that? I'm gonna go over it with some um, some kind of color. Pick a, a can type of color. Which one should we do? Which one I really use for this? I wonder. Used. This kind of looks like I use some. I'm gonna try the uh, which one? Sh I guess it's Oka Kahaki of the U.S. Field Drab. I think I'm gonna go with the Oka Kahaki. Or no, um, actually go to the U.S. Field Trap instead, because remember it's 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 British, not German. So I shouldn't use. Excuse me, guys, my allergies are a bit bad. So I should use this instead. Gonna dry, kind of dry brush it, or brush it very, very tiny, lightly, and you get a nice, <clears throat> like, it's hard to explain. Beauty. Look at this nice dirty effect, our worn effect, I guess. So cool. You get a nice. Looks pretty real to me. Just lightly, tiny bit of paint. And just kind of like wash almost. Like dry brush it or something like that. Like thin it down on your. Uh, uh, paper towel. So paper towel will soak up a good amount of the paint, the liquid. I mean, the watery paint. But uh, yeah, that is better. I think. This gives a nice little tone. Might go over it with a different paint. The front looks good. And you can kind of use the end of your brush to rub some of it off. There's too much. Gently. Just rub it or use your finger to blend it in. But yeah, see? I think you get a better kind of tone almost. Maybe I'll try some, uh, what do we use? Yeah, some Kahaki. I think we didn't use that. I use the U.S. Olive Field Drab. Let me use some Kahaki too. As well. Come on, Kahaki. Oh, let me squirt it out a bit. There. Some of this too. I think, yeah, this is the paint we didn't use. Uh, that's perfect. Get a nice tone. Yeah, as you can see. Now I'm gonna wet, uh, shine up the little tiny leather strap. I use some of this water texture by Still Wa Still Water Vallejo. I just get a very, very tiny bit, kind of dry brush it almost. So I'll show you how to do this. So I open up the jar. As you can see. And get my brush. Make sure it's clean. Pretty much. Get 
dip it in and just uh, brush some it off on the paper towel. Remember, you don't need much, just normal amount or very little. Oops, dropped in my lap. Try it again. So, like, that's good, I think. Be a little more. There, perfect. Just brush it on like this. They are perfect. See the 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 shiny leather. I think you guys see it. Remember, I'll get pictures. There it is. Okay, so that is. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. It's going long enough, and I want to overload my phone, and it stop automatically. I miss finishing it. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this tutorial on how to paint canvas, leather, and I guess metal too. Show you the metal part already. But metal, canvas, and leather. How to shine up that leather like on my German figure and the tiniest detail, shine up that leather too. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Would love to hear comments below. I'm gonna post this YouTube, Facebook, maybe Instagram. Yeah, probably Instagram. That'd be great start for that. Cause I haven't posted anything on Instagram for a while. Hey guys, I anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna post this for sure. Hope you guys love my work. Let me know what you let me know what you think in the comments below on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All right, love you guys. Enjoy modeling. Happy modeling, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Penzai89 signing off. Bye bye guys, and bye bye. Salute. Bye.